As an obvious sex symbol and masculine god, Charlie Kirk has thoughts on the attractiveness of other people. Conservative online commentator Charlie Kirk had a faith conference. And instead of talking about things that actually have to do with the Christian faith, like taking care of the poor, helping migrants and refugees, he talked about women in their 30s being undateable. And Anna Kasparian and John Iderola of the, the Young Turks had a lot to say about this. We're going to go through some clips of Charlie Kirk, clips of Anna Kasparian and John Iderola talking about this, and then I will give my own thoughts. We basically told a great generation of young women, don't get married, don't have kids, go get a corporate job, and it's created mass political hysteria. Um, and then in their early 30s, they get really upset because they say, you know, the boys don't want to date me anymore because they're not at their prime. And people get mad when I say that. Well, it's just true. If you're in your early 30s, I'm sorry. It's like you're not as attractive in the dating pool as you were in the early 20s. But again, you have your corporate job and cats. So I thought, you, you know. Um. As an obvious sex symbol and masculine god, Charlie Kirk has thoughts on the attractiveness of other people. Now, during an event hosted by his organization, Turning Point, Turning Point Faith, I guess there's like different offshoots. So Turning Point mm -hmm. Faith, uh, Kirk was, this is what you're talking about during your faith discussion? Mm -hmm. This is what you're talking about, Charlie? Really? I mean, downing on suppressing women, kind of a big part of a lot of faith traditions. So he was opining on why women tend to vote for Democrats, which is a question he ironically answered with his own offensive answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, in one breath, Kirk triumphantly declared that young men are the most conservative they've been in 50 years before veering that young ladies present a great opportunity because they are not conservative. And Anna and John are gonna give their own opinions, but this is what I would say. Guess why young women are not conservative and are liberal and are voting for Democrats? It's because of douchebags like Charlie Kirk, who believe that we should go back to the 1950s or maybe even the 1850s and women should be at home in the kitchen raising children instead of having their own careers, working outside of the home having their own thoughts. They believe that they need to be subservient to their men. That's what Charlie Kirk and his ilk believe. So, you know, when you constantly attack a group, we, we even have Republicans now talking about how we should take the right to vote away from women. I mean, this is just insanity. Gee, I wonder why women would not vote for people with this ideology that women are second class citizens and need to be kept down. So he was asked, like, why is that? And lucky for us, he uh, shared his uh, deep, profound analysis. There's, there's a couple reasons for this. Abortion is obviously part of it, but yeah. uh, they, they've been sold a lie through culture, through media, through even some of their parents that you basically have to go pursue this corporate trajectory and that men are always the problem and suppress your biological impulses. A lot of them are on birth control too. And birth control like really screws up female brains, by the way. Every single one of you need to make sure that your loved ones are not on birth control. It is, it is awful, it's terrible. Um, and it creates very angry and bitter young ladies and young women um, that then that bitterness then uh, manifests into um, a political party that is the bitter party. I mean, the Democrat Party is all about the Democrat. They always say the Democrat Party. It's so childish. They can't say Democratic. I mean, these are people with a junior high mentality. But the, the Democrats are the bitter ones. The, the young women are the bitter ones, not the incels that listen to Charlie Kirk. Those aren't the, the, the young men who are angry about everything. They're not bitter. Uh, bring us your bitterness and, you know, we'll give you free stuff. It's like we'll trade you, you know, bitterness for stuff, essentially. And again, what does this, any of this have to do with faith? Did Jesus talk about young women being bitter and getting free stuff? No, he talked about taking care of the less fortunate in our society, which people like 
Charlie Kirk don't give a damn about any of that. Okay, so he posits that birth control pills make women bitter and angry. Just hold that thought. We're going to go back to that in just mm -hmm. a moment because Charlie Kirk never presents himself as bitter or angry, mm -hmm. right? Always a calm. He wasn't bitter cool, there collective. at all. Not at all. Not no. at all. The issue is that those who are attacking birth control most publicly are people like him and a couple of women who are desperate to be brought into shows like that that go way beyond the actual side effects that are experienced and pretend that, like Charlie Kirk, mm -hmm. it's the font of all evil. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I understand why some people might, in reaction, be defensive and be hesitant to acknowledge any concerns because they know that this is being used as a pretext to outlaw it entirely. Exactly, so thank you for saying that because that's absolutely true. And that's the whole reason why Charlie Kirk is talking about birth control pills during turning point phase. Yeah, it's nothing about actually being concerned about young women that birth control pills will affect them in a negative way. They just want to be able to control women by making birth control illegal, and then women are forced to have their babies. That's it. Faith. Um, he also said no Christian parent should ever allow their daughter on birth control ever, period. If your daughter's on birth control or granddaughter, get them off immediately. How about you get off people's asses about personal decisions? What also happened like, to parents' rights if it's your granddaughter? <laughs> Screw the parents, I'm not allowing it. Charlie's solution to uh, the issue that Republicans are facing with women and the lack of you know, support from female voters is to basically get those ugly 30 something year olds um, married and basically mm -hmm. knock them up. He said, quote, what's amazing is once they get married, they become 50 50. Once they have kids, they become like right wing by 20 points. And so the issue is that we're not having enough kids in this country. So yes, don't, you know, this is the party of personal responsibility and freedom, but they want to control what women are able to do in the bedroom. So take away the prescription that they are able to use to keep from getting pregnant. So they will then, as Anna Kasparian said here, they'll be knocked up and be forced to be parents. Sounds like a great world, right? Over on that. Right. And yeah, I, I do think like for some people having kids could make them a little more conservative, but mm -hmm. for a lot of people it doesn't change their politics at all. Yeah, and it, and it can manifest in different people in different ways. Right. Like I don't think having a kid has made me socially more conservative, but I do support a flat tax now. Anyway, um, so look, the, the whole thing is ridiculous. The, we're supposed to go to this guy for his political expertise. Mm -hmm. When he starts with the question, why are women less conservative than men? And then he rants for like a solid 10 minutes mm -hmm. that they're ugly and bitter and their eggs are dried up. I don't know, maybe there are other reasons why they don't wanna be a part of your- Great point by John Iderola here. Yes, when you attack a group over and over and over again, they're not going to wanna be a part of your little club. Why would they think, unless they were self-hating women, why would they want to join the Republican Party who wants to take away birth control, who wants to take away their rights, who wants them to just be barefoot and pregnant and subservient to their man? Why? Why? It's a mystery as to why they wouldn't want to join that party. Your political movement. Maybe you're advocating for even more of their rights to be stripped away after successfully stripping away rights that they'd had their entire lives. Maybe there are some pretty significant fundamental reasons that they don't like you. Finally, I want to get to the allegations of bitterness and anger among Democratic women. Yeah. Which is quite a claim coming from Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is usually not so calm and seems to have some difficulty keeping his facial twitches under control. Let's watch. I would ask, you know, Charlie, do you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? I never liked Larry David. But here you are, you're trying to book Charlie Kirk. And you think that, you know, me seeing pronouns in the bio is going to make me say, you know what, I'm going to make time on a weekend that, you know, that I could be spending with my precious daughter because of your you know, your pronoun signaling to me like, no, go, go find somebody else. That doesn't mean that we're now going to give up. But we, there is a moment where today you must grieve. You must acknowledge and admit this is nasty. This is ghastly. This is disgusting. And this is wrong. Because if we lose, they're going to come after the churches. 
They're going to come after the organizations. They're going to come after the people. They're going to come after the social media accounts. They're going to come after the bank accounts. They're going to come after every single person that played any form and role into trying to defend President Trump. Charlie. I live like a capitalist every single day, hey, Chank. I live as a capitalist. Hey, hey, okay? hey, hey, hey. I live what I believe. Uh, hey. no, no. No. What do I do? I get charity every single year. Hold on, hold on. Less than his. Charlie, take a Come seat. Come on, Chank, let's go. Charlie, take what are you doing? Sit Take a seat. Take a seat. Psycho? I practice what hey, I hey, preach, hey, Charlie, Jake. Charlie. You, stop. You stop. do not practice Charlie, what you stop. preach. Charlie. You gotta love American politics. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. Yeah, 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 cool 100%. As a the guy is just another hack of part of the right wing grievance machine. And like Anna Kasparian is pointing out here, the guy is bitter. He's angry. This is what he does all day long. So it's just projection for a clown like him to be saying that young women who don't like him because he's a douchebag are bitter and angry. To be fair, he was provoked by our very own Jake Uger, who does not brag about being a con. No, guy, right? no, not not often. <laughs> seems, seems to enjoy uh, his, you Ch know, notorious branding mm -hmm. of a, uh, you know, pretty animated individual. Yeah, Jake had that calm body posture. <laughs> Listen, I'd get worked up, but um, let people live, okay? Just let people live, yeah, let people and, live. and let. Women make decisions about their own health and their own bodies with their doctor. Yeah. That's it. There are other issues in the country that I think deserve a lot more attention than what kind of birth control pills women are taking. Anna Kasparian and John Iadrola are 100% right here. This is such a non-issue, but this is all the right-wingers have. All they have is culture war stuff. They don't have any policies that are popular. The vast majority of people in America are supportive of birth control by a huge number. I mean, very religious people. Most Catholics are in favor of and use birth control. The vast majority of Americans are in favor of abortion. They don't want abortion to be banned. So normal people do not want to roll back the clock and go to the 1950s or the 1850s where Charlie Kirk and the people like him want to go. This is such nonsense. They have no real policies that appeal to anybody. Normal people are thinking about how they're going to make a living, what happens if they get sick, even with insurance that they don't go broke, how they're going to be how they're going to retire, how they can take care of their children. They're not thinking about this nonsense stuff like Charlie Kirk is spouting. And because this stuff is not is nonsense, that's why young people are not, cons young women are not conservative and are staying away from the Republican Party. So Anna Kasparian and John Adarola are exactly right here about Charlie Kirk. But what do you think? Give me a like and a comment and a subscribe if you like this content. Let me know. Do you think Anna Kasparian and John Adarola are the people that are right here? Or is Charlie Kirk right here? Do you feel like women are washed up by the time they reach their 30s and they're bitter and angry because they're taking birth control. Let me know. Give me a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.